What's going on internet? IG here again today. Today I'm kicking off a new series on using Magia. So, if you're interested in using Magia 4 as your everyday operating system, then definitely listen up for the next three episodes. I'm going to be checking out how to get this distribution from the vanilla, the way that it comes when you install it straight out of the box, to at least the setup that I've got going, which, uh, which I'm pretty happy with at the moment. Now I did do one of these a long, 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 long time ago with Ubuntu 10.10 and to be honest I've been wanting to do one of these uh, for quite a while since but I haven't really had time to but here we are with Magia 4 so we're going to give it a crack. Now if you're interested in Magia as a distribution then uh, first of all definitely check out the Magia 4 review that I have done recently. Uh, I'll put an annotation here in the link below as well if you haven't done so already. That'll give you a good idea of what Magia as a distribution is like. But as a distribution that you're going to want to get work done on and uh, getting it up to speed with all the functionality that a modern operating system needs, then, uh, then I'm going to run you through some of the steps that, at least the steps that I took to get the distribution to the place where I'm happy with it now. So for matter of introduction, it's worth having a look at the welcome screen because of the fact that in the Magia review, I mentioned that this welcome screen is a fantastic innovation and that it gives you fantastic links to things like the forums, the wiki, the chat room, uh, bug reporting and all of that sort of thing, as well as newcomers, how to's, release notes and all of that fun stuff. Uh, this window is definitely gonna be your first port of call when you first install Magia and it'll give you a good idea of how to get the desktop up and running as well as it'll give you a few good uh, suggestions here for applications that you might want to install or use. But enough about that, let's have a look at what Magia looks like when it comes out of the box. Okay, so this is what a new Magia install is going to look like. But for right now, let's focus on how we can get this distribution looking a little better. That's going to be the focus of this first episode, so let's get into it. Let's focus on how we can get this desktop looking a little bit more modern and looking a little nicer. At least based on what I think is looking nice. Obviously it's very subjective, but let's give it a shot anyway. So let's go into system settings, and here we can customize nearly anything about the KDE Plasma desktop. So we'll start out by changing the Plasma theme. Now the Plasma theme is what is what themes a lot of the widgets, and a lot of the uh, things like the transparencies here, the colors, the, the panel themes, a lot of that is handled by the KDE Plasma desktop, and if you get a different Plasma theme, you can make it look very different. For an example here, if we throw a clock up here on the desktop, then you'll see when we change the theme, you'll see the change in the clock's appearance. So let's go into workspace appearance and desktop theme. Now you can see here that I've already got a few installed here. In order to get new themes, all you need to do is go to the get new themes dialog and it will go out, go out to the internet and find the best uh, themes that the community recommends, that the community has downloaded the most and also the ones that the community rates as the best. So you can see here you've got a few different themes to choose from. The one that I went with is Caledonia and actually if you want to download the Caledonia theme from here, it will end up taking you to a website. And once it takes you to that website, you'll end up downloading a tar.gz file. Now the tar.gz file will then go in your downloads folder. And from there, you'll need to copy that file into a hidden folder in your home folder. So if you go back to your home directory, on the keyboard, hold Alt and the greater than symbol, and you'll see that you've got uh, hidden folders as options here. Go into .kde4, share, apps, and paste the extracted tar.gz folder into the desktop theme folder. Then you'll be able to go back into your theming, your desktop theme window here in system settings and switch to that Plasma theme. Once you click apply, you can see that this has changed to a much darker theme, a much cleaner theme in my opinion. So there you have it. Now while we're here, we may as well change the cursor theme as well. I like Oxygen Zion, so that'll be my pick and then window decorations as well. Same story here, you can go online to get new decorations using this little tool here. And the one that I've went with is the Elementary Luna. You can see here, it's the option here, you click install and it will give it to you as an option and you simply click apply and there you have it. So we've covered the plasma theme and the window border, so let's see what else we can do. What about we change out the icon set? KDE Plasma Desktop's default icon set is Oxygen. And it's not a bad icon set, but I, it, it might be looking a little old by now. Again, going into Get New Themes, you can find a lot of different options there of icons that you might want to try out. 
The ones that I went with are both Nitrix for KDE and Compass. So if you install either of those, you'll end up with a nice icon theme. And my preference is the Nitrox theme. So if we apply that, then you can see we, it switches out all of the icons for much nicer looking icons. A bit cleaner, a bit sharper, a bit more modern. Now let's take a look at fonts because I think fonts are very underrated when it comes to the look and feel of an operating system. It can give you, you you're constantly staring at words so it may as well look nice. So in the system settings if you go to application appearance and go to the fonts section you can see there's a button here adjust all fonts and you want to click that one and then go with a font that you like. Now as far as my preferences are concerned, I like the Droid Sans font. Now in order to get that up and running in Magia, you're going to need to install a package. So if you go down here to the menu, go to the Magia control center, give it your root password and jump into install and remove software and then search for Google Sans Droid. And you can see here the Google Droid Sans font is here as an option. You can click that, install it, click apply and then you'll have those fonts available in your system. Now you can see I've already done that so I can cancel out of that, quit that and use that font here in my KDE settings. So you can see I've selected Droid Sans, size I'll probably go with 10 and click OK and apply and then you can see all the fonts around your system will change. One last step that you're going to want to do with the fonts is to enable font smoothing and this will give you much nicer looking fonts especially when you're browsing on the web. So again we go into system settings, application appearance, fonts and then you'll see here with the anti-aliasing, I've probably butchered the pronunciation of that word but nevertheless, enabled you want to, you want to enable the anti-aliasing and then you want to use the RGB subpixel rendering along with slight hinting style and that'll make the fonts on the web look a lot nicer. One last touch that you're probably going to want to see on your desktop is some nice wallpapers. And a good place to start with those is the two packages in the Magia repositories called KDE Artwork 4 wallpapers package and also the KDE Plasma desktop theme Caledonia wallpapers. If you search in the Magia control center, if you search in the Magia control center for simply wallpapers, then you can see here there's a couple of packages that you can install. And I recommend that you do, it's a nice place to start. Of course, wallpapers are entirely subjective and it's completely up to you, but it's a nice place to start. So you can see here you've got a lot of good wallpapers to choose from. And of course, if you want to run a slideshow of these wallpapers, you can simply select the slideshow option here in the desktop settings, give it a time, tick the system wallpapers, click apply and you're done. And you can see that we've now got a nice slideshow of brilliant wallpapers playing on our desktop. And there you have it. We've customized the look and feel of a new Magia 4 install. In the next episode, we're going to be having a look at software, some of the software that you might want to install and how to manage it and all of that fun stuff. So thank you all for watching. If this video helped you out, then feel free to click that like button down below. And if you'd like to see this content on a regular basis, then consider subscribing. I will see you all in the very near future with the next episode in this series. And we're also going to be having a look at Ubuntu Studio in the very near future as well. Thank you all for watching and I shall catch you later. Peace out, ladies and gentlemen.